Hello guys, welcome to Doctor Science. So today we are going to going to see how the leptin is going to cause satiety. So this is a very complex diagram which is given in your textbook, but don't worry, I'll try to simplify this one for you guys. So first we have to see what is happening at the hormonal level. So whenever there is increased glucose uptake, this will lead to increased in fatty acid synthesis. Or we can simply say that there are increased fats in our body. If there are increased fats in our body, these fats are stored in a cell known as your adipocytes. As you can see, inside the adipocytes, we have lots of fats. And eventually, these fats are getting accumulated inside of the adipocytes. Now, this adipocyte will release a substance or a hormone known as your leptin. Now this leptin is a type of anorexic hormone. It is a type of anorexic hormone. Now what is meant by this? So imagine this is a weighing scale. And on this weighing scale, on one side we have food intake. On the other hand we have energy expenditure. So if there is increased leptin which is produced by the adipocyte, this leptin will go and inhibit the food intake and not only that, this same leptin will go and stimulate the energy expenditure. So whenever I talk about food intake, I am talking about the anabolism. Okay. So leptin is going to inhibit the anabolism by decrease by decreasing the anabolism okay so this anabolism is related to orexigenic orexigenic pathway so leptin is going to inhibit the orexigenic pathway and similarly leptin is going to do catabolism And it will increase the catabol catabolism of the patients. So it will increase the anorexic pathway. So leptin, it is going to inhibit the orexigenic pathway. And the same leptin will cause stimulation of the anorexic pathway. Okay. Now we are going to see what is going to happen at the thalamus. So thalamus, let's draw it here so it will be clear. So thalamus usually have this neuron. And this neuron is known as your first order neuron which is present in your thalamus. Now this neuron is having a substance or a hormone inside of it. This hormone is known as your pro opio melanocortin hormone. Okay. Hence this the name of the neuron is known as your POMC neuron because it is producing a sub hormone known as your pro opio melanocortin hormone. Okay, that's why they, the scientists name this neuron as your POMC neuron. Not only that, inside of this neuron, there are transcripts. Now, scientists, whenever cocaine or amphetamine was given to this patient, there was increased regulated, regulated transcriptions in this patients. Okay, hence, scientists also name this neuron as your CART neuron because CART stands for cocaine amphetamine regulated transcripts because cocaine and amphetamine were stimulating these neurons especially the regulated transcription were increased in neuron in these neurons hence they name this neuron as your CART neuron now the POMC are the CART neuron the POMC or the CART neuron is a type of first order neuron okay now this POMC neuron 
is releasing a substance or a hormone this hormone is known as your alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone okay this alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone is a type of anorexic hormone hence the pomc or the cart neuron which is producing a type of anorexic hormones hence these neurons are also called as your anorexic neurons okay anorexic neurons are producing anorexic hormone which is your alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone okay now eventually this alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone will go and bind with a neuron now this neuron is called as your second order neuron so as you can see here alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone is this alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone will go and bind with this receptor this receptor is known as your melanocortin receptor type 3 or melanocortin receptor type 4 which are present on your second order neuron so second order neuron is having melanocortin receptor type 3 and melanocortin receptor type 4 which is a which is a receptor present on your second order neuron so as you can see here alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone will act on the mr3 or the mr4 whenever alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone is going to activate the second order neuron it will release a substance it will release two substance okay so one is your corticotropin releasing hormone and the other one is your thyroid releasing hormone corticotropin releasing hormone will increase the cortisol okay and similarly it will thyroid releasing hormone similarly will release free t3 and t4 in the thyroid both are these are your catabolic hormones okay so this entire pathway is related to anorexic pathway okay so i already told you leptin is going to stimulate the anorexic pathway so what is the anorexic pathway the first order neurons were your pomc or the cart neurons which were producing alpha let's draw this with a different color alpha melanotype melanocyte stimulating hormone which was acting on the second order neuron uh, which was having the M mr3 or mr4 receptor now this second order neuron will eventually uh, eventually increase the corticotropin releasing hormone and increase in thyroid releasing hormone which will increase the cortisol and the free t3 or t4 which are your catabolic uh, catabolic hormones right so anorexic pathway will increase the catabolism now we are going to see the anabolic pathway so once again we are going to draw the diagram here so this is the first order neuron which is present in the hypothalamus now this first order neuron is having a substance known as your neuro neuro peptide y not only that it also have a substance known as your agouti related peptide hence scientists name this neuron as your npy or the agrp neuron okay 
NPY neurons means the neurons is having neuropeptide Y or the or the neuron is having agouti related agouti related peptide inside of it. Hence the scientist named it named it as NPY or the AGRP neuron. Now this first order neuron is going to release a hormone which is known as your neuropeptide Y. Okay. Now this neuropeptide Y will eventually go and act on the second order neuron. This is the second order neuron which is present in the hypothalamus. Now there is a receptor that is present on the second order neuron. This receptor is known as your 1 or 5, Y1 or 5 receptor. So eventually the neuropeptide Y will go and bind to the 1 or 5 receptor and activate the second order neuron. Whenever the second order neuron is activated, it will again release two hormones. One is your melanin concentrating hormone and other one is your orexins. So these two are related to anabolic pathway okay which is your orexigenic pathway okay so leptin leptin is going to inhibit the orexigenic pathway and it will stimulate the anorexic pathway anorexic pathway or the POMC are the CART neuron and its down product orexigenic cycle was nothing but your neuropeptide Y neuron or the agouti related peptide neuron which were activated and the down regulation pathway I know you guys are a little bit confused but don't worry I will just show you the diagram here so it will be crystal uh, crystal clear for you guys so this is the leptin so as you can see here leptin uh, let me okay so leptin is going to stimulate the anorexic pathway so as you can see here leptin have receptors on the first order neuron this is the first order neuron and eventually the first order neuron is named as your POMC or the CART neuron and this neuron is going to stimulate the catabolic pathway. So POMC or the CART neuron, POMC, uh, so here as you can see the POMC or the CART neuron is going to release alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone which will, which will act on the second order neuron. And this second order neuron is having melanocortin receptor type 3 or type 4 and alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone will act on this receptor once this receptor is activated it will this second order neuron will release thyroid releasing hormone and corticotropin releasing hormone and thus promoting the catabolism okay and now as you can see here leptin is going to inhibit the anabolism pathway okay it going it is going to inhibit the anabolic pathway by activating the first order neuron which is your neuropeptide y or agouti related peptide y neuron and thus inhibiting the anabolism by releasing neuropeptide y which will act on the second order neurons by uh, one five receptors or y1 one five receptors and the second order neurons will release melan melanin concentrating hormone and orexins and thus it will in inhibit the anabolic pathway okay so that was about uh, leptin and satiety thank you guys